I think what makes Blind Wino a different type of arts and culture center is the, the heritage and the history. I'm Ian Callender, co-founder of the Blind Wino Southwest Arts Club in Washington, D.C. But this building uh, was built in 1886. It was the uh, Virginia Avenue Baptist Church um, and then later merged into the Friendship Baptist Church. The term Blind Wino is a spinoff of uh, uh, the term Blind Pig or Blind Tiger that was used during the Prohibition era for speakeasy. Our art narrative is very strong where the artist retains 100% of the proceeds. We don't take any commission, no fees whatsoever. Our exhibits are more emotionally driven. It's focusing on what's going on in the world today. It's not just pop art or anything of that nature. What Blind Wine was doing for Black History Month is we wanted to focus more on the future. The term Black History is, is kind of not stagnant, but it always focuses on the past. So that's kind of our, our exhibit name. It's called Black Futures. And it's, it's giving people an opportunity to see what once was in the black community and see what is current in the black community. We integrate a lot of the art narrative with the experiential environment. You know, yes, you can come have a cocktail here as well, but we have an urban farm wrapping the south side of our building. We also bring kids in and teach them how to grow fresh fruits and vegetables. You know, Sean Diddy Combs was here doing a apparel pop-up for his invisible bully line. Um, and when he came in, the first thing he said was, wow, this place is amazing. But whenever you come to Blind Wino, it's not like you've visited Blind Wino and then you don't have a reason to come back. You can come back every month and get a different form of consumption when it comes to art, and that's the beauty of our space.